Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to do some tests to see the performance of the TP-Link TLMR6400S running OpenWRT. The test consists of NAT and Wi-Fi throughput, OpenVPN and WireGuard VPN tests. At the same time, we will also run the test on the router running stock firmware to have a good comparison. The results of each test will be shown in the beginning of every section. However, you are welcome to watch the whole video to see the detailed change of the CPU uses as well as the speed. I will just let you see the test and have your own decisions on the performance. Let's start with the LTE speed test on the stock firmware. The results are not bad at all. We have 87 Mbps for download and 40 Mbps for upload. Even though the playback speed of the video is set to 200%, you can also change the playback speed on the YouTube player to 1.5 or maybe 2 if you don't have much time watching the whole video. Moving on with the LTE speed test on OpenWRT firmware, the maximum LTE speed test we have is 83 Mbps for the download and 46 Mbps for the upload. And now it's time for the Ethernet and Wi-Fi throughput on OpenWRT. We have the maximum LAN 2.1 throughput at 94 Mbps with the CPU at 46% idle. The maximum Wi-Fi throughput is recorded at 70 Mbps 
for download and upload. However, the link speed is not stable and sometimes the speed may drop to 40 or even 20 or 10 Mbps. The throughput for OpenVPN on the TLM Magic 400 is not good. We have around 6 Mbps for download and 10 Mbps for upload with the CPU at 3% idle. It looks like that the router is not made for OpenVPN.
And finally, here the Wygod VPN throughput test on OpenWRT. The result is quite positive. We have 31 MBBS for the download and 20 MBBS for the upload. We can see that with the stock firmware, we had a better download LTE speed. However, with OpenWRT, we can have some further features such as OpenVPN, Wygod VPN. This is not to mention that we can install the M13 packet to configure the Multi1 application. So that's all for this video and I hope it will be useful for you when you want to purchase this router at your home routers. Thanks for watching and I will be see you all in the next video. Bye bye.